Take two. Woo, okay. Hello everyone, it's Louie here. I hope you're well. I just finished doing some stuff here and uh, I thought I'd do a quick vlog. Uh, my first real vlog. Um, possibly my only vlog. I mean, we'll see how it goes. Took me quite a while to set up for this. Oh, but I can't move the camera now. Hello. So. Hang on, if that's my head. If I sit here, sit here, like this. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's check. Anyway, we got set up. I really hope we're in focus, because I can't tell at the moment. So I thought I'd just do a quick update on a trip that I took last week with some of my very close friends and trumpet heroes. A few months ago I was contacted by uh, Ryan Quigley, trumpet player, friend, lead trumpet in my band. He called me up and he said, how do you fancy going and doing a Mayar Ferguson tribute in Budapest, of all places? Crazy, I know. With uh, Eric Miyashiro, uh, Ryan himself, and Andy Greenwood. I was like, uh, yeah, we'll go and do that. So on the 13th of October, I finished the Marty Pello private collection tour. And uh, immediately after that, on the 14th, I flew back to Heathrow in London, picked up by Ryan, and we drove to Luton, where we met Andy. We have a little chill, have a quick pint, and then we fly over to Budapest. Uh, on the flight, we have a few drinks, you know, a couple of beers, Pringles, even though Ryan originally asked for peanuts. Day two, woke up in the morning and Con Selma had very kindly put on a clinic for me and Ryan. This clinic started at 10 a.m. We were feeling a little fragile and there were about 50 trumpet players there and it was like, whoa, trumpet, go, trumpet, bang. <laughs> when we started talking, suddenly someone started talking Hungarian. I was going, uh-huh and it happened to be a translator. It was very, very helpful, otherwise no one would have understood what we were saying, and they certainly speak better English there than I speak Hungarian, so thank you, Miss Translator. So we start the rehearsal, and Eric comes over, and he's got this mouthpiece pouch, and I'm looking in it, and it's actually all of the Maynard Ferguson mouthpieces that Maynard used. He had the Rudy Mark, he had the Jet Tone, he had the Calicchio, he had the... Giardinelli MF1, he had the Monette. It was really interesting because I sillily decided to try and do the entire rehearsal of playing the mouthpiece that Maynard played on the tune that I was playing. So the rehearsal goes great and uh, the band sounds absolutely burning. The drummer was excellent and thank God because it's hard to do this sort of thing without a great drummer but this guy was brilliant. David, there's a guy called David Chismardia, lead trumpet player with that band, one of the best lead trumpet players I've ever heard in my life. Total beast. I mean, this guy is insane. He can, he can play anything. I strongly recommend you go and check him out. He swings, he's got great intensity to his sound, and uh, plays bang and tune. He plays this old 1940s Holton Model 48 trumpet that he let us have a go on. That was pretty cool. Day three, Austria. Six hours on the coach, do another clinic. We did the gig and everything went down well. Night didn't end there for us though. We had to jump on the bus, go straight back home. Uh, we arrived in Budapest at five in the morning, but it was great. The, the trip home was fantastic. I sat out with Eric for like four hours. He had his laptop and we were listening to old vintage Maynard videos and we were chatting about trumpets and music and mouthpieces and trumpets and cats. Day four, Lion Day. We like Lion Days. Not Lion Days, Lion Days. Anyway, met up with Andy and Ryan. We, uh, we had a little bit of lunch and we enjoyed eating lots more goulash and goulash soup because goulash soup is great and so is Hungary. We had more goulash soup. When we finished our goulash soup, we had nothing else to do. So we just chilled and maybe had a sleep. Boring. Um, after that, we had the gig. The gig at 6.30 and a gig at 9.30. We had to do two gigs this time. All the guys at the in the band sounded great and all the soloists, you know, Eric, Andy, Ryan, everyone sounded burning. It was a, it was truly a night to remember. It was fantastic. Two sold out audiences of people outside watching it on the TV in the little, in the little lobby where the bar was. It was just a brilliant night. I want to say thank you to the BJC big band. They were absolutely amazing and it was such a joy to do it with such a good band. I want to say thank you to Con Selma for looking after me and Ryan uh, when we were doing our clinics. Uh, I want to say thank you to Steve for being such a great host, uh, for taking care of us when we didn't know where we were in Budapest. And uh, I want to say thank you to the three other soloists, Andy, Ryan and Eric. Uh, absolute joy for me. So thank you so much, guys. So that was the trip. 
I hope this has been slightly entertaining. Do let me know in the comment section if you think that this is something that has legs, if you think that I should do more of this. I've actually quite enjoyed recording it. I'm sure I'm going to enjoy editing it. And thank you so much for getting to this point of the video. I have no idea how long it's going to be. Um, hopefully not too long. But uh, yeah, if you get to this point, thank you so much for sticking around. And I look forward to chatting to you all soon. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.